head to Caulfield this Saturday. And Fast and Rocking nominated for the Group 3 Vane Stakes over uh, 1,100 metres, but hasn't raced for about three and a half months. Yeah, he had, um, he's actually pre-trained up in Sydney this, um, this campaign, and he had a trial um, about three weeks ago. Um, the 1,100 might be a little bit too short for him, but he's a classy horse, so yeah, we'll see what he can do. And you've got uh, Bull Bullard on for the uh, Group 3 Quisette Stakes over 11 Hazen. Hasn't raced for about three months as well, but uh, she's had some challenging races. What's your opinion of her? Yeah, she's, um, she's done the same as Fast and Rock, and she's uh, spelled up in Sydney and then came in and pre-trained up at our Sydney stables. Um, again, you know, she's had a long time off um, to furnish, and she looks well. She's a little bit woolly, but, um, you know, it's a good starting point for her. And you've got Pago Rock in the Group 2 uh, PB Lawrence Stakes over 1,400 um, and also was listed for the Roller Stakes over 1,200. Yeah, here running the PB Lawrence, um, it's a gap, bigger gap between runs. Last, week, last time it was two weeks between runs, this is three weeks, so this should suit him a little bit fresher on his legs and hopefully I put in his run that he did in the Bletchley. Coming from that Bletchley over the 1,100, uh, was David pretty impressed with that? Yeah, yeah, he was, and he's a horse that likes to be nice and fresh, and, and he went into that very well and well in himself, and hopefully this, as I said, with the gap in between races at three weeks, that should really suit him. And the best out of the three for Saturday? Um, I'd have to lean towards uh, Pega Rock.